Ask Andrew. Juan Miguel Callejas asked me how we can empower someone who is unable to maintain a stable job due to mental health issues out of poverty. Take the same amount of time to reflect upon this question that you'd expect an individual to use to be prepared for a job that doesn't take into consideration his or her mental health issues. According to Susanna Karkonen, a workplace mental health specialist from Innerwork CH, which is for Switzerland, highlighted that we need to stop diagnosing and labeling people. She also mentioned the Nordic model and emphasized the importance to encouragement and support regarding various forms of part-time and other labor for independence. According to the World Health Organization, empowerment is the level of choice, influence, and control that users of mental health services can exercise over events in their life. I've worked with individuals who suffer from severe mental health issues and have reached milestones both sides are very proud of. But we weren't able to create a sustainable solution, which is something that frustrated both parties. I believe greater instability and mental health issues need a greater understanding and resources to provide greater opportunities. We need to invest more time, energy, and resources to understand the people who suffer from mental health issues and must design jobs that allow people to be themselves while inspiring them to grow with the organization and society as a whole. I hope you've learned something from this video and participate by asking Andrew a question. We can speed up the process of ending homelessness and reducing poverty through greater knowledge, better questions, and better answers. See you soon. Thank you.